I've been creating videos for about two years now and during this time I've spent countless hours creating and tweaking grades that can easily be applied to my action camera footage to save me a bunch of time when editing. The past year or so I've been asked countless times if I can share how I grade my footage and if I have any LUTs for sale. Well I'm super stoked to announce that my very first action camera LUT pack has just been launched at the same time of this video going live right now. Yes! It's been a long time coming. I oh, know. I've carefully curated these lights so that they can be applied to a wide variety of writing scenarios like riding through the forest, at night, or at golden hour. Now, if you don't know what a LUT is, LUT stands for lookup table and is basically like a preset for photos. But instead of putting it on photos, you're putting it on video. It's basically a preset. You'll hear me say preset instead of LUT because it's pretty much the exact same thing. You apply it to your footage, make some tweaks, and boo! Now I understand that some of you don't want to fork out and pay for a LUT pack, especially if this is all new to you. So I've included a free LUT for you to try, which is called Feels Fade. Give it a try, see how it works. If it doesn't work for you, if you don't like doing this type of thing, then you know, you didn't waste any money. We'll have a look at that LUT and plus all the others in just a moment. Now, if you don't have or want to pay for video editing software, then I highly recommend you download VideoProc. You can download it for free and it is one of the most simple editing software programs I've used. Perfect for beginners. I'll show you how to import the lights into VideoProc and use the program a bit later on. Links to VideoProc, my free LUT and my LUTs pack are all in the description below. Alrighty, let's get amongst it. We are gonna jump right into Final Cut Pro. Now, just so you guys know, I am not a full-blown like professional video editor. I literally started editing video at the start of 2020 when COVID kicked in. I had a whole bunch of footage. I thought, stuff it, I've got time now. I'm gonna just sit here and learn how to do everything. This is just how I do it. I like to use lights just to save time when editing videos. And for the sake of this video, I'll just be editing footage that I've taken with my GoPro Hero 7. The color profile is set to flat, so I'll get the most out of the dynamic range. And this is just me writing in a, just a bunch of different scenarios. But these lights will work with Insta360 footage, as well as DJI footage or any other action camera footage you have, even including a DSLR, which I'm using right now. I've got a 6D Mark II. This is what it's like without a LUT, and this is what it's like with the LUT. And this LUT is available in the LUTs pack. These, by the way, work with Premiere Pro and DaVinci as well. They're all cube files, so you sweet. It's a flat profile, so we want to bring some of that contrast back into it. So to do that, we're just going to bring down the midtones a little bit. There we go, just crunch it up. Might even bring down the, the blacks, just, just a tiny little bit. Push up the exposure of everything. And you can, you know, you can bring down the highlights to get some more detail in the clouds, or you can just blow that right out. It's up to you what you want to do there. I usually like to just bring it up a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can also press Command 7 and bring up the scopes here so that you can you can see what's happening, you know, without just eyeballing it here. You can actually see what it's what it's saying here. So you can see at the top there, it's actually I'm pointing at the screen, like you can see. You can see how it's peaking up the top. It's all flatlining above that hundred line there. You want to bring it down so it's sort of just, you know, there's nothing clipping. So that means we've got all detail in all the highlights. That's actually lower than what I was gonna do it before. <laughs> okay, so that looks pretty good. So already, that's how it looked before. This is how it looks now. So we just got some contrast in there. It makes it look fantastic. Okay, so now we want to apply a LUT. So you go here, type in LUT, use the custom LUT, chuck that on top of that clip, go over here, and they've got custom LUT there. Um, and once you import your LUTs, I'm not gonna show you how to do that because we're talking multiple platforms here. It would take me forever. There are lots of other YouTube channels that explain how to import lights. Very simple though. Reveal in Finder, import, done. Feels Fade, that's the free one that's available on my store. And here's my LUT pack. These are the eight that you get in the pack. So the first one, we'll just start with the first. This is Cool Me Down. Boop. And there we go. That's the vibe. It cools down the footage. It gives it a bit of a wintry sort of feel. Great for overcast weather. It crunches it down a little bit. So you get a bit more of those darker tones, a bit more of the highlights. And it makes those oranges just pop a little bit. I'm a fan of orange. So it sort of comes across in a lot of the lights here. You'll see them. <laughs> Okay, so now you'll see this mix slider here. So if you slide that right down, there's no LUT applied. And so you can gradually just bring in as much as the LUT that you feel like you'd want. This is a great way to introduce the LUT into your footage. Some can look way over the top. And so you might just want to bring in a little bit, maybe like 30% and you just get a nice grade over your footage. That's when it becomes a little bit tasty. It's a little bit nice. And now here, this is where I sort of adjust my white balance. So if I just click on this guy here, I hold down shift, and I just drag it up, it makes it cooler. And if I drag it down, it makes it warmer. And so, you know, it depends what you're sort of feeling on the day. Was it cold? You might just want to have it a little bit cooler. You know, just experiment and have a bit of fun with that. That's basically it. That's how it looked before. That's how it looks now. Forest Freedom, douche. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, hey, I really like this one. Isn't that 
insane. Not much to really do here, I feel. So if we just slide that in, introduce a little bit, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe there's nice. We're cruising, baby. Took some exposures, might bring those mid-tones down a little bit. And bring those highlights up. And that looks cool, hey? And then again with your white balance there. That's pretty much all I do. You can mess around with the whole, the global colors or the shadows only, or just the highlights. So you can you can go all out and literally grade over the top of the LUT as well. But for me, I'm very, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> I think that just looks awesome. That's before, that's after. How mad is that? Okay, next one, <laughs> get stuck on here. This one's cool. So oh, you guys know that I'm a fan of John Wick. You guys know that I like to have my footage drawn nice and blue and stuff. This is if you're just shooting in auto and you want to do it later or maybe you forgot to set the white balance to 3200 Kelvin, which is what I like to set it up to get that real blue sort of style. Custom LUT over the top. Boom. Add in John Wick. Where are you? There you are. There it is. Boom. You are blue as, as it comes. <laughs> just drag that in slightly. See, I think even just there's nice. Look at that. And then, yeah, same vibe. Exposures, set your exposures, bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna bring those mid-tones down. Just crunch it up a little bit, get some more of that detail in the blacks. And you can bring the whites up a little bit, make it poppy, really glary. Tokyo Drift, Need for Speed, let's do it. Hells yeah, I reckon that looks so cool. Before, after. You can put in a bit more, drink, a bit more there. Most of us probably ride during the day, right? I'd imagine so. So I've made one for the harsh midday sun. So mid afternoon, settings are on auto here. Color profiles flat, put the LUT on. We're gonna go mid midday madness. Boom, there it is. So this kind of washes out a fair bit. I feel like when you subtract colors, it can actually add more to your footage. So this just gives it a different sort of feel rather than looking all cartoony, I guess, and like oversaturated with color. If you want to bring some of that back, as per usual, bring down those mid-tones. Mid-tones are a big one with GoPro and action camera footage in, in general. You bring those down, you get a lot of the detail back in the, in the bike there and in my gloves and in all the shadows. We just bring that back, yeah, see how, how much of a difference that makes. And you can bring down the highlights a little bit as well if it's a little bit too harsh, you feel. Bring up the escapes again. I've got some room to play with. And maybe just change the, the wire balance a little bit. No, maybe not, I'm gonna leave that. It's perfect as is. Look at that. Before, after. Neutral, it, just, it doesn't really add too much color. It's just about pulling out the color that's already in the footage and just making it look a little bit better. If you're shooting in your flat color profile, when you hit neutral, it's just gonna bring out the colors that are already in there. It's so that you don't have to go through and tweak everything in the, in the exposure settings here. It's already sort of done for you. I mean, you can go further and do whatever you want, but that's before and that's after. So it just crunches the colors in a little bit, dials everything in a little bit more, a little bit of warmth but it's neutral. This is when I was cruising in Switzerland on this BMW, man, that was one of the best rides in my life. Old school, boom, it's black and white. There's a smidge of um, red through it, like just the slightest amount, just to give it that sort of vintage sort of vibe. But yeah, there's a whole, there's a black and white light in there for you as well. I set my shutter speed for this at um, 25 frames a second. Usually I shoot at 30 frames a second, but making it 25 gives you that sort of flickery look, which adds to the whole old school vibe. I think. Look at that. Boom. Lake Geneva. Ooh, yeah. There we go. That's cool me down. See how it crunches it up a little bit more. Very, very crunchy and cools the tones down. You can see a bit of blue in the, in the road and then blue over there in the mountains. Ho oh, ho. Forest Freedom. Greens it right up. Isn't that insane? Isn't it cool? So I'll just bring that back a little bit. Yeah, so they're like the lights work for, you know, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you back. Now this is one of, my, one of my favorites. This is the one I use pretty much for all of my riding footage. I love it so much. This one is called Sport Classic. And you will have recognized this sort of vibe that I use all the time. It's one of my favorites. I love the, the colors. I love the green and the orange, like the teal and the orange. Um, I just think it makes for a cool vibe. Um, I don't know, I just sort of feel drawn to this all the time. And the same sort of thing, you can just Bring those a little bit down, put the highlights up a little bit, play around with it, get a little vibe going. That's Sport Classic. 
I love it. I love it so much. And I think it'll even look really good on this one here. That gives an old school look. More older school than the black and white. <laughs> but some of you guys have been asking me for this one. And so here it is. And this goes nicely over everything. It's actually what I use in the office as well. I use this for literally everything. I love it. I love it. And now it's yours to have forever and ever. This is also another favorite. I love oranges. I love writing it. sunset, as you guys know. So if you own a Lightroom preset pack of mine, you know that it has sunset blip. Well, this one is called sunset rip. Douche. <laughs> Same sort of vibe. Real, like in the highlights, you're going to have all that orange in there. And in the darker spots, in the darker tones, you're going to have that nice bluish sort of feel through there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's the best. If you're doing a sunset ride, this is the one to chuck on. And so I literally eyeball most of my footage, hey? Like I don't go crazy when I'm editing. I just sort of create a feel, make sure it looks pretty good. And I edit each individual clip. And then when I'm happy with a grade, if it's the same consistent lighting over like a, a section of clips of footage, I'll just copy and paste from one to the other until I'm happy. And I'll keep on continually tweaking as I move along. You can use adjustment layers. I just don't do that. The free preset, this is the faded preset or LUT. See, uh, preset LUT. Feels fade, bush. There we go. So it gives like that nice, like cinematic sort of faded look. You can put some like maybe some text overlay on that, and it'll look all nice and you know just flat and smooth. I like it. Yeah. So you can see there. So that's before, and then you drag it in slowly. And you can see that whole faded out here. And there we go. And it's good. This is actually good for when you're shooting in shadows, like high sunlight with shadows and it's all super contrasting and everything it sort of evens everything out nicely these are my LUTs I tried to make them as simple as possible so that all you have to do is literally just put a LUT on and maybe just tweak the exposures a little bit white balance and then away you go that's, that's literally how I grade my footage some people like to sit there and grade each individual clip from the start, from the get-go without using any LUTs. And for that, I tip my hat to you. But for me, it just takes too much time. I'd rather just chuck a LUT on an experiment and, and get creative. Get creative, it's a visual experience. But now I understand that some of you don't wanna fork out 500 bucks for Final Cut Pro, or you don't wanna pay a subscription-based service like Premiere Pro. Well, lucky for you, there is a completely free video editing software program that you can download right now, today, for free. How good's that? Links in the description, the program is called Video Proc and they are the sponsors of today's video. So once you've downloaded and installed Video Proc, this is it. This is your home screen. And yeah, you see here, I've just already imported my two little video clips. You can literally just drag and drop your videos in here. You can click there and add it and find your files or you can do what I do. Boom, find the video clip you want and then just drop it in here. Drag that onto your timeline, snip it to where you want it and your happy days, there it is. Now there are so many functions and features on this thing that's super simple to use as well. I did a tutorial on this a little while ago when I did my Insta360 Studio app tutorial. So if you'd like to go back and check that out, shows a whole different array of things that you can do with this program. It's really cool, it's very intuitive, pretty simple to use. If I was a beginner, this is what I'd download. Okay, so immediately on the right here, you can see your exposures, your contrast, your saturation, your basic settings just to expose your footage correctly. And we're just going to boost the contrast a little bit. There we go. Just make those, those colors pop a little more and to just bring a bit of depth to the footage. But now we can go to advanced settings. And here they already have a whole different bunch of presets that you can start working with. Isn't that cool? But what we're going to do, we're going to add my preset pack into video proc. And you can do that just by clicking add. There it is. Oh, those open and then just let them import. And there they all are. How good's that? Okay, so now that you can see here that it's pretty intense. It's full on. So what you can do, you can literally bring down the intensity of the LUT by itself. So that's zero. So there's no LUT being affected here. And you can slowly just bring this up to where you'd like it, which I think it looks good there. Just like I showed you in Final Cut, how you can just drag the intensity. That looks pretty good there. And then a little bit of contrast, or let's bring the blacks down here a little bit. Get those darks darker and the white's whiter, which we don't really need to do here because it's sort of already daylight, it's pretty harsh. The highlights, that affects these skies, we can bring that down a little bit, bring the contrast up, and that's already looking much better. So that's before and that's after. So how good's that? And then you can click apply and away you go. You can even change the temperature, that easy, and the tint. You can also go into your HSL. This is easy to use. 
than Final Cut Pro. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that right now. <laughs> this is actually so much easier. They're on the orange colors here, so this is gonna affect all my orange little sections there, there, I mean the bushes and everything. So we can just bring that up. Oh, there's actually a lot of orange in the footage, so we're not gonna bring it up that far. But you know what I mean. So we're just bringing that saturation up of just the oranges, just up a little bit, and then we can change the color of that orange either to go a little bit more green or a little bit more red. Obviously, you can go all out and just have it all blue. But we're just gonna make it just a touch, just a little bit, just a little bit, maybe just like minus two. There we go, how does that look? That looks pretty mad, how did it look before? Yeah, how good's that? And then luminance is the, the brightness of that color. So if you bring it down, it's gonna get really dark. If you bring it up, it's gonna get hella bright. It's quite touchy, so. So we're just gonna bring it up just a touch, just to make it a little bit more, a little bit brighter. And you've got vignetting, so you can take that down and get a nice little vignette, a little bit of sharpening. There we go, that's nice. Apply that, and there we go. We have graded footage in VideoProc, which is free. And VideoProc does way more than just grade footage. There's transitions, there's titles, effects. You can do so much, you can add music. You can create literally an entire video. And also VideoProc are giving away a GoPro Hero 10. All the details are in the description below. So make sure you get amongst that to win yourself a GoPro Hero 10. That is pretty cool. Thank you so much VideoProc for sponsoring this video. Guys, get amongst it. Get amongst this and my free preset and just start editing your video, your rides today, like right now. Thank you so much in advance for those who um, will support me and buy my Lutz pack. I'm, I'm super stoked to have them out. I've been working on them for ages. So finally, they're out there. I did it, yes. Hopefully you enjoy it. Download that free one and download Video Proc as well. And just, you know, just give it a crack. See, see how you go with it. All right, guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.